this morning. We're taking a live look over at the New River Gorge Bridge. Not a whole lot out there. We're not really looking at any significant fog this morning. We're actually seeing a very beautiful and dry sunrise this morning. So take advantage of that because that won't be lasting much longer. Now Doppler radar, we're staying dry this morning. Just seeing some high thin clouds out there. We are seeing some rain off to our south and our east down in Virginia, but that's not going to make its way into our area. So we're going to stay dry for right now. But you notice as we take a wider look, this is a cold front associated with a low pressure system. That's going to slowly push into our area, bringing us some more rain as we go into the next couple of days. So right now, also, we're looking at those temperatures. We're starting off very warm. If you haven't been outside, you don't need a jacket at all. You could almost walk out in a tank top. It's that warm. Sitting in the upper 60s and some low to mid 70s. 69 in Lewisburg, 69 in Raynell. A little bit warmer out towards Fayetteville. 73 degrees, 72 in Beckley, and 71 down in Walsh. So very warm and also very muggy. We're just going to see those temperatures climb once again back into the mid to upper 80s possibly some low 90s. Now, looking at that future cast, we're going to stay dry through the morning time hour, starting to build up that cloud cover just a little bit more, especially off towards the mountains. We're going to go into this afternoon. Notice our temperatures warming on up back into the mid to upper 80s and some low 90s. But we're going to also pick up those rain and storm chances, and that's going to kind of linger on into the overnight hours. So you can expect just a few showers going into overnight hours, and then we're going to go into your Friday, and we're going to keep some scattered showers and thunderstorms going through the rest of your day. Temperatures once again warming on up into the low to mid 80s, so not quite as warm, but still staying very muggy. And of course, we're keeping that, those showers around. We're going to start to dry things out just a little bit as we go into your Saturday. I have bumped those rain chances down just a little bit for your Saturday. I'll have a look at that here in just a second. Temperatures dropping on down just a little bit into the upper 60s and some low 70s as we go into the overnight hours. And we're going to stay a little bit drier for your Saturday. So looking at those chances of rain, we're going to really start to pick those up as we go later on into today, especially towards the dinner time hours. And then we're going to kind of keep those showers around and then they're going to become a little more widespread for the day tomorrow. We're going to keep those showers around through the afternoon time hours before we start to dry things out just a little bit. So how much rainfall are we looking at for the day today? Really not picking up a whole lot picking up maybe about a quarter to a half inch, but notice we're not really seeing a whole lot towards our uh, western county. So we're not really looking at too much, but that flood threat is still there. We haven't seen rain in quite some time, widespread rainfall in quite some time. So most of us sitting under that marginal risk looks like the eastern half of Greenbrier, Monroe, and eastern uh, Tazewell and Mercer staying a little bit drier with that flood threat, but still want to be a little cautious. We're also looking at the severe weather outlook. Most of us sitting in that just lowest category where we're going to see some general thunderstorms, but parts of Nicholas, Fayette, and Raleigh, we could be in that uh, marginal risk for some severe weather. So that is something we'll keep an eye on, but those main risks, of course, would possibly be the small hail, those gusty winds, and heavy downpours and thunderstorms. So once again, we're going to pick up those rain chances going through the rest of your day, along with those temperatures. Very warm day once again. Now, looking at your Sheets Automotive dog walking forecast this morning, we have Moose, courtesy of David Delp. What a cute dog standing in the mulch, giving a green pause for this morning. But once those rain chances start to pick on up, of course, you want to keep your eye to the sky. Probably not looking like the best day to take your dog on a walk unless you're doing it this morning. Now, looking at the next seven days, we're going to keep those warm temperatures around through the next seven days. We're going to stay steady in the mid to upper 80s, but we're also keeping some rain chances around for the next several days, but becoming a little more scattered through the next couple of days.